Europe is disintegrating. And it is disintegrating with enormous human cost. We have not seen the hum human cost yet materialize, but we will. So the question that we should be ans asking ourselves is, how can we stop this? And how can we stop the disintegration of Europe? Jó reggelt kívánok! Bombera Krisztina vagyok. Mindenkit szeretettel és tisztelettel köszöntök az Európai Zöldek, a DM25 és a Megújuló Magyarországért Alapítvány Nemzetközi Konferenciáján. We made it very clear that we're not going to found yet another a uh, civic organization which claims it is not a political party, it is not a political party, and that at some point it says, yeah, okay, we are a political party. That's not what we are aiming to do. What we are aiming to do is to bring together a very inclusive set of people from all over Europe and beyond to discuss the future of Europe and to try to democratize Europe. I have a very unpleasant suspicion that even many of you in here, and if not in here, many of uh, our comrades and supporters and collaborators and colleagues and people who are on our side of politics, deep down in their bones, they fear that there is no alternative to what's happening in Europe now. Many of them, driven by desperation at the thought, are considering the disintegration of the European Union as a good thing. They are wrong. No one can accuse me of being a lackey of Brussels and the European Union. But I can tell you, if this awful European Union that we have disintegrates, we're going to be deeply in the 1930s. We are going to be deeply in a mire. So we need to save that which we are very critical of. Those of us, the more critical we are of the European Union, the greater the moral and political duty we have to fix it. But how do we fix it? Well, we have to win elections at every level. But to win elections, we must break down the dogma of what I call Eurotina. Eurotina. The dogma that within this European Union there is no alternative. And how do you break down a dogma like that? You break it down by providing an alternative. And yes, some people say the European Union is not working, that uh, our policies are not working. I disagree with that. They are working. But the question is for whom? There's urgency because we are sitting on time bombs. Social inequalities is a time bomb that can lead our societies to, to, to collapse. The ecological footprint that we have is a time bomb. And the rise of the anti-democratic parties is a time bomb. Don't forget the 30s. When Mussolini and Hitler got to power, it was through democratic processes and with the support, I must say, that the ruling economic class. So the question is, are we able to unite those who want a more just, more sustainable, more democratic society, basically who really are behind this we are in this together paradigm, are we able to unite and to present another alternative to our citizens? If that is the case, then I do believe that we can shift the course of our societies. Well, gondolom és abban milyen hiszek, hogy közös elkötelezettségünk van abban, hogy milyen gondoljuk újra azt, hogy az Európai Unió az Európai Együttműködés szerveződik. Ezen belül egyébként a politika nem csak az európai szintéren, hanem a tagállami szintéren is, és hogy olyan megoldásokat kínáljunk, amelyek Európát sikeressé tudják tenni, közelebb tudják vinni az emberekhez, demokratizálni tudják, és egyenlőbbé, igazságosabbá tudják tenni. And I keep saying that what makes us greens is not that we are in love with this planet, there are billions of nice planets in the universe. It's not about just another nice planet. It. This is our home, and this is why we defend it, because this is the home of humanity. We are in love with humanity, not just with a planet.